So we're here for the Salt Lake City photo community. Photo walk partnered with Lomography. I have no idea what the route is or what the plan is or who the what is, but we're here with the Pentax ME Super. And if I haven't already dubbed it into the video, then uh, what we're doing here is I put together a random wheel of a various assortment of film from 400 ISO up, black and white, color negative, and I spun the wheel in order to figure out which film I was going to shoot tonight, and it just so happened to be Candido 400. I'm really hoping that it doesn't get too dark, but by the looks of it, I think we'll be okay for a little bit. Closer to sunset, it's going to get more spotty on what I can shoot and what I can't shoot, but that's that. We're going to get out and start walking around while we wait for another 15 minutes. This photo walk is to celebrate the one year anniversary of the first SLC photo community photo walk and it's incredible how much the community has grown in just one year. There were so many different photographers there from such distinct corners of photography. There was everything from money making professionals to wage wasting amateurs like me. I'm going to do my best to shout out everyone that I met and have their Instagram handle but if you know me you'll know that talking to people isn't really my forte. Instead, I'll be lurking around, minding my own business, and taking video of all the people that came out to the photo walk. To the Walker Center, we happened upon a set of lowrider classic cars parked outside of a bump and party. Somehow, I keep getting lucky with classic cars and photo walks. That's an homage to my Moro Bay on film video, which apparently no one watched. Also, in tradition of including my two cents about every film stock I shoot on this channel, I really like the bloom and halations on this film. Given that the cars were parked in the shade, this film was a nice balance of using colorful halations to draw attention to the rounded edges of the cars while taking advantage of the even lighting that the cars were in. It's also nice that the shadows weren't entirely crushed. This film earns a pass for me in overcast and shadows. It's always a treat when people with different passions come together and get excited about each other's craft. I have no doubt that one of the owners had his ego stroked that evening, went home, and bought another project car to get another hit of that sweet, sweet dopamine. Speaking of which, I get a massive hit of dopamine when you subscribe. So if you feel I've earned it, hit the subscription button so I don't have to keep sniffing highlighters. I'm starting to build up a tolerance. It would have been way too easy to use an entire roll on those classic cars, so we had to move on before things got out of hand. So, moving out, we moved our feet towards the Walker Center. The event organizers were passing around a disposable camera, which was being passed around like a baby with Ligma. Many of the attendees were able to take a photo of their choice using it. This is mine. Salt Lake City is decent for street photography and it was fun hanging out with equally obsessed individuals, but it would be super exciting to see the Salt Lake City photo community expand into new genres of photography. Utah has such a vibrant spread of interesting subject matter in every direction just outside of the city. 
a photo hike, or something like a photo takeover where a group of photographers go to a small business with charm and character to take photos and give them a surge of business for an afternoon. Creativity is the limit, but those are just a few of my ideas. Prizes were given out to random people, and snacks were had as the sun took a final bow over the horizon. Hey everyone, if you've made it this far, I just want to say a huge thank you. Your time and attention mean a lot, and I'm genuinely grateful that you've stuck around to the end. Whether you've been here from the beginning or just discovered my channel, I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. Every video is a labor of love, and it's all the more rewarding knowing there are people like you who appreciate what I'm sharing. If this video resonated with you, or if you found any of the content helpful or inspiring, I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing. It's one of the best ways to support my growing channel and ensure you don't miss out on what's coming next. I'm always working on new ideas, so if you're into film photography, there's plenty more on the way. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. Your feedback, your thoughts, or even just a quick hello in the comments. Building this community and connecting with all of you is one of the best parts of doing this. So don't be shy. Thanks again for being here. I really hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and keep shooting film.